seconds away, new explosions outside that Discovery Channel building where a hostage drama played out, an exclusive with the gunman's brother. Plus, a football player is hit by a car and walks away in 60 seconds. I was deciding what to do with my city thank you points when it happened again. First it was the mailbox, then my squirrel, and now this. So I used my points to make a donation to get the park down the street, though. Yeah! When it finally opened, I also used my points for car repair. Use your city thank you points for almost anything, even local charities. What's your story? City can help you write it. You doing the Honda thing again? Yeah, you can get 0.9% financing on any Accord or Civic. Okay, that's all I've got to say. That's right, 0.9% financing for up to 60 months for qualified buyers on Accords and Civics. It's 0.9%! The 2010 Honda clearance. It's the only thing from Honda that won't last. <laughs> this offer is available through September 7th, so see your Honda dealer. The sound of explosions tonight from the Discovery Channel headquarters as a bomb squad blows up devices used by gunman James Lee. Police shot him to death and set his hostages free. Tonight we find out more about him and his connection to Southern California. Good evening, I'm Mark Brown. I'm Michelle Tuzzi. Eyewitness News reporter Robert Logan is live in San Dimas with some insight into the troubled life of gunman James Lee. Robert? A family from right here in San Dimas was well acquainted with James Lee when they all lived in Hawaii many years ago and even then they say there were issues with James Lee's behavioral problems and we're also learning more from the gunman's brother as the gunman's long-standing grudge against the Discovery Channel ended up costing him his life. 